Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about PlayStation and more specifically, we're gonna see if we can add our Vanilla Visa debit gift card into our PlayStation account and use it as a payment method. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off, if you're not familiar with the Vanilla Visa debit gift card, definitely one of the more popular gift cards on the market right now. Basically what it is, you just buy these little cards at a local retailer. I believe I bought this one at Target. Once you buy the card, then you can load money onto it one time. Once that happens, then you can usually use it at most places that accept debit visa, which is most places these days. But can you use it on your PlayStation account and use it as a payment method? That's what we're gonna find out. So I have the PlayStation website pulled up right here. You can do this on your PlayStation as well. I'm just doing it on my phone just because it's easier to film. But you wanna go to this website, store.playstation.com. Check my video description. I'll try to leave a quick link there. Once you've logged into your account here, you want to scroll down until you get to this section called account. I'm going to click there now. All right, once you click there, this drop down menu happens and you want to choose manage account. I'm going to click there now. All right, once you click there, then it's going to bring up a Sony website that's associated with a PlayStation account. You'll see your name at the top there. But what you want to do is scroll down until you get to this section called payment management. I'm going to click there now. All right, once you click there, you come up with a payment settings screen, and this is where you can see all the different payment methods you have associated with your Sony PlayStation account. But if you want to try to add your vanilla Visa debit gift card into your account for PlayStation, click on this button right here, add payment method. I'm going to click there now. All right, next, what you want to do is click on this line right here, add credit or debit card, since this is a vanilla Visa debit card. I'm going to click there now. All right, next, the screen pops up, and you'll want to enter in the full 16-digit vanilla Visa debit gift card number. Cardholder name, go ahead and just put anything. You can put your name or gift card recipient. It doesn't really matter. There's no way to change it into your own name. It's nothing they're gonna check. The main thing that they're gonna verify is the zip code that you associate with your Vanilla Visa debit gift card. If you haven't done that yet, go back and watch my other video that shows you step-by-step -step how to set up a zip code with your Vanilla Visa debit gift card. So I'm gonna enter all this information in off screen now. Okay, so I went ahead and entered in all the required information. Next, you wanna scroll down until you get to this blue button called next. I'm gonna click there now. All right, next, PlayStation is asking for the full billing address that's associated with your Vanilla Visa debit gift card. So same thing, you can use your address or anyone else's address, it doesn't really matter. The main thing is the zip code, but you'll probably wanna use your address, that way if Sony needs you to verify the transaction or the card, it's easy for you to remember. So I'm gonna enter all this in off screen now. Okay, so I went ahead and entered in all the required information. Next, you wanna scroll down until you get to this blue save button. I'm gonna click there now. All right, just a few seconds later, the payment settings screen pops back up again, and it looks like yes, you can use your vanilla Visa debit gift card on your PlayStation account as a payment method. As you can see, I now have a new Visa listed here under my payment method. So once again, you can do this on your PlayStation. I just did this on the phone because it's easier to navigate on the camera. If you were not able to add your vanilla Visa debit gift card for some reason, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know why that might be. But as far as I can see, it looks like it should not be an issue at all for you. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.